Hi guys, this is Cobra Tom. Uh, no Venom Lily. Like I said the last few videos, uh, Lily is not as interested in doing these videos anymore. So, um, I'm going to be doing a few of these alone, and this is just one of them. Um, this is a figure I made that I've been tinkering with for a long time. I just never quite got the figure the way I like them when I first did it um, I kept tinkering with it and I I'll be doing more about this figure when the time comes but this is the Cobra Tom figure and to save a tiny bit of time like I try to do I uh, I, I pre kind of ripped the uh, tape off of here or the kind of the, the glue is I mean, it was packaged nicely but I just kind of wanted to get this out of there first so that you guys can see what I'm getting because this is really cool and I have to admit that I, I technically have already seen this but I think it's really worth you guys taking a look for um, <laughs> Oh, I don't want to rip this. I might have to get my... I might have to get out. All right, dude, sorry. You're going to have to kind of stand on the side here for a moment. Always cut away from yourself. Rule number one. And I bought these... Technically, I thought I was only getting one, but I actually am getting two, which is really nice. And as some of you, oh, the, the color is just, is unfortunate. Um, because this is the Conan, the Barbarian with Arnold Schwarzenegger sword. And if the details were painted in, you would be able to tell that and they're both they're both uh, like that uh, this one's a, as you can see is a little bit bigger and a little bit longer a little bit more scaled up but when I have this finally complete this is going to be his sword oh boy a little big on that guy's hands I oof boy boy just broke it. Dang it. These are very, very, very flimsy. I mean, they're very cool, but they broke. They break apparently too easily. So I guess I'm not going to be using them for what I had planned on. Shoot. It wasn't his fault. It was mine. No one to blame but myself. So I tried to do something and it broke. So, nuts. I think it's a clean enough break that I think I can fix it. I think I can fix it. Darn. Not his fault, not the guy who made it, but my own for trying to do that. But it is a really cool sword. It is a really cool thing. My own foolishness just broke it by trying to put it in this figure's hand when I checked. <laughs> clearly saw that it wasn't going to work. I should have just stopped. And I didn't. Shoot. Well, uh, as unfortunate as this is, this is a really cool sword. This is really neat. And I'm going to be having Ed Hellman uh, do these for me. Paint these up. And I'm hoping that he can somehow fix them. I don't know what if he can or not. But... Hopefully he can. So I'm. I don't know that for sure. I don't want to make. <laughs> I don't want to do things like that. But maybe he can. So thank you for watching. This is a bummer just because I broke it. 
It's otherwise a really awesome toy. It's a really cool looking thing. I won't be able to get it in the guy's hands. And I'm not even going to try anymore after busting it. Uh, these are really quite thin, but I kind of thought because they were a bit bendy and rubbery that I was going to be able to do it. But, um, it, yeah, I, um, it just happens. Sometimes these things happen. And I got it for $5, so I might just buy myself another one. They weren't that expensive. And next time I'll be smarter than, than that. Not, not to try to even bother putting them in the hands. I will probably try again and just buy some new ones. Alrighty, well, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.